I'll do it. Ready or not can be tough. It's basically a nightmare CQB simulator. And this warehouse gave me a ton of fits. It also ended up giving me trust issues with my AI teammates since I play this game solo. Can I figure out how to defeat my own AI teammates and get this map done? Let's find out. Normally when I play I have my commentary going as I play, but this time I was offline. So I wanted to share some thoughts about this game as I think about doing a review and also kind of critique my gameplay. Let me know if you like it in the comments down below. He should not be in front of that door, it's a glass door. Keep the shotgun on the door, then clear it with bangs. Everything's randomized, so sometimes there's people in here, sometimes there's not. Which makes me worried about mirroring it. Doors open front, that's the main threat. Suspect is down and in need of medical attention. One tap. Talk reporting. Turn around and stay clear. EMTs and trailers are standing by. I think you've got the wrong person here. This is talk. Roger entry team, great work. Keep going. Guys are doing work. That door's already open. There's no reason to breach this one, so I'm gonna try to push these guys over and clear through that way. Stack up right side. Talk to element. Copy, clean house, and we'll take them out. Move in, clear the room. Opening on the right. I've been experimenting with tack speak, but this time I just went with straight middle mouse button, the standard controls, to see if that's any better. It slowed me down a little bit, which actually probably helped. Opening on the left. Good here. Never know if somebody's dropping a deuce. I know you're always supposed to try to stack on the door handle side if you can. Mirror it. No problem. I think I'm still traumatized from the Ides of March. There was random traps and weird places. I got blown up in the no laundry problem. room. Like, that would be a place you'd put a bomb. This has been another pain point for me since you've seen the intro. Clear right now though. I don't want to push straight into the warehouse. I want to go out this door. Cover this area. Got it. Door is good. I'm gonna wedge these doors just to try to keep somebody from coming in behind us. Hear somebody on the other side, but that's fine. That's the main warehouse area. I want to clear outside first before I push in there. Clear. Sometimes there's guys in this bay out here. Sometimes not. That's one thing I do appreciate is it's randomized. It gives you replay value on these maps. Opening on the left. Opening on the right. Nothing here, sir. One thing I don't like though is it almost penalizes you from being the point man because if you're the first guy through and you get shot by a guy in the corner then your day is done. I wish they'd let you finish the mission with your AI teammates at least in practice mode. And if you get a good grade, you get a good grade. I don't enjoy commander mode as much. 
opening on the left. That's another pain point for me is AI just shooting through random places. There's no way I could have seen that guy if I'd have taken point. It's only because the AI was fighting AI that that guy went down. Drop the light. Cam light. I got nothing here. I'll zip it up. All right, so now I'm going to rally up my guys and I'm going to take point on this because it's an open area. Suspect isn't going anywhere. As soon as they round up the dudes, at least. On me. I got you. I try a wedge to keep my flanks covered, and if they're right behind me, it's not going to do me any good. I want them spread out to the sides in case they see something I don't. I figure there's got to be at least one guy over here. Yep, there is. Seven six two is absolutely the way to go in this game. I got through the first three or four missions, I think, fine with the stock loadouts, but after that, oh, switching over. Makes everybody in your team more lethal. Alright, so here's where I jump ahead a little bit. I wander around, I clear some areas. I'm trying to keep this video as tight as I can for you, so as soon as I wrap this guy up, I jump ahead a little bit. Opening on the left. So now we're entering the main warehouse, which gives me concerns. Post up on the left. Acknowledge. Door is good. I'm going to take a look with the mirror, make sure there's nobody right on the other side of the door. Of course there's not. That'd be too easy. I'm going to have them breach with a gas grenade, but they don't throw very far, so I'm going to try to throw a uh, flashbang a little bit farther. Get a little bit more effectiveness on the entire warehouse area. Turn around, keep your That guy made the wrong decision. Contact is down! The fuck you gonna do? I hear somebody up the stairwell, I'm not exactly sure where. I don't want to pull my guys back towards me, I want them to hold where they have. I think I can take this by myself for sure. Because I don't have to look in too many different directions. Something I forgot about for a long time was this walk button. The walk button makes it a lot easier to take corners. Oops, I forgot to tell him to uh, get on his knees. My fault. Blue team. All teams. Now I'm going to go clear that room upstairs. going on in here, so if I'm going to be the point guy, I'm going to flash it. I hear somebody. That's one thing I don't understand in this game, too, is why every single bad guy that you encounter is basically willing to die. Guys, That's one thing that could probably change. Talk to entry team. Roger. Trailers inbound. Blue. Put the stack on this door. Getting into place. I know there's nobody in there, but you never know. I'm taking this nice and slow because I've died so many times. Pick the lock. I'll unlock it. Oh, 
Open for business. Open and clear. Going in! Checking to see what I got left. See, I originally thought that was the FISA office because it's a legit office, but it's actually like a mail room downstairs. Red. Post up left side. Confirmed. Door is locked. Use the wand. Check for targets. Right. Always better safe than sorry. Opening on the left. Safe. No traps. No contacts. Lock picket. Multi tool ready. No reason to go loud right here if there's nothing on the other side. Unlocked and ready to go. I don't know what's on the... I don't know this map well enough, so I wanted to double check and make sure that it wasn't an open warehouse or something crazy. Get the door and move in. On it. Pie the door. All clear. Moving. Got an opening up ahead. Another spot where I died. I'm extra conscious of that. And that's where that FISA office is. Ready to push in here, making sure we're not getting shot in our backs. This guy apparently didn't get finished getting cuffed, so I let him know he needs to be cuffed. Look away and don't move. Slow and steady is the name of the game in this, and unfortunately it doesn't translate to amazing gameplay most of the time, but this is how you actually get things done in this game. Always double check with that mirror if you can. I know there's a lot of people that just peek it and make sure there's no trap and then bang in, but I'm not that advanced yet. I'm still trying to figure this game out. Get the door, clear it, 10 4. Check the threshold. Looks good. Going in! See, now normally I'd like to be the first guy in, but if I get shot by a guy in the corner, I fail the mission and I want to unlock new maps, so that's frustrating for me. I don't like that. I don't know what they would do about it, but I don't like it. Checking my objectives, make sure I know what I'm doing. Stay on me. Now we've got this main warehouse area to contend with. And this is the worst part of it. That was a mistake on my part. I should have had gold team, everybody come with me. So I've got blue team just standing in the back with nothing to do while I've got red team with me, which is good. Because if you send these guys into the warehouse on their own, they usually end up dying. So I'm just trying to keep them near me, take it slow. No idea where those shots came from. A little bit of directional audio, that's it. I don't think this guy actually has a main line of sight to me. He's just 
blind firing through random cover. Again, still have no idea where any of these shots are coming from, but luckily my AI has the same AI as the bad guys, and they can shoot through the same cover. It looked like it was impacting on the back of those yellow buckets, but I don't see anybody. Yeah, I'm just blind firing through the cover just like my AI, because why not? Now I call in everybody with me. Because I suddenly realized that I only have one guy here with me. Move the other thing is trying to figure out back. what constitutes a doorway in this game and how you control your AI around that. It's kind of frustrating. Now I'm wondering where the heck my blue team is. Oh great, now I got a guy down, I report him. I'm still waiting for blue team. Now that I watch it back, I know I didn't call him in, but... I think I domed that guy. Use the clear on me because I want him to kind of stick with me at least a little bit. I got nothing here. Don't move, stay put. I need a clear on Open it on the right. We have a civilian in custody. Talk report. Now I have no idea where the rest Roger of my team is. Team. Great work. Keep going. Nothing. Got it back. The light. That's one thing I can do in hindsight is probably look at my head cams, my helmet cams or whatever for them. But I don't know if it would have helped in this situation because it's all boxes and conveyor belts everywhere. Now I'm trying to figure out where the heck to go, which way to clear. Because this map is kind of a mess. I feel like this is the normal person's experience in Red or Ready or Not. I haven't played this all the way since the very beginning in Early Access. I just picked it up in 1.0. I think I played maybe one or two matches before it went to 1.0. But I wanted to do a review on it, so I wanted to put some hours into it. I feel like we're getting towards the end, hopefully. I think we cleared that whole warehouse. Nobody shot at us while we moved all the way through it. We're on the back side now. This should be the last building. Stack up left side. Done. Good. I want to try to get the best score I can and try to minimize my casualties so open the door clear with stairs i try to throw a, a flash deep it did not work i threw it too high now i don't want to flash myself apparently the cs grenade didn't go in either it's a good start figure there's enough guys on the left so i take the right Fat finger a key. You're gonna take these off soon, right? Talk. Civilian is standing by for trailers. This is Talk. Roger, entry team. Great work. Keep going. So I figure I'm probably done right here, right? Maybe there's somebody outside on the back. Could be somebody in the bathroom. We'll clear these first. Yep, civilian in the bathroom. 
Blue team. Open the door. Clear it. In position. Put your hands up now! LSPD! Don't Red. Going in. Move in. Clear it. This is one thing that's nice about tax speak versus the regular menu system. When the commands work, it's so much faster. But I've gotten myself and my teammates killed more often than not. Well, maybe not more often than not, but quite often because it misunderstood my commands. Gold. Stack up on the left. Checking to see what I got left. I got some civilians and also well, at least one bad guy. Move in. Clear the room. Looks good. Breaking. Looks clear over here, boss. Looks clear over here, boss. I'm hoping that's the last bad guy, but I didn't get the... Brought order to chaos prompt. And you're going to get another jump here because this is another thing I don't like about this game. You got to go on a bug hunt to find the last guy, the last piece of evidence, the last civilian, whatever it is. There's a civilian that hasn't been taken in, and I got a bad guy right here. Of course, just like always, he tries to get up. Looks clear over here, boss. And that wraps it up. Light stick out. Finally got this one done. We're gonna get you out of here. I know this is a little bit longer video. If you did happen to make it to the end, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see how this video does. Maybe I'll post some more Ready or Not content in the future. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Have a good day.